USS Sumwalt Guided Missile Destroyer, United States Navy. A $4.4 billion U.S. destroyer was touted as one of the most advanced ships in the world. Take a look at the USS Sumwalt, which experts now say is a failed ship concept. The USS Sumwalt underway for the first time conducting at sea tests and trials on the Kennebec River December 7, 2016, in the Atlantic Ocean. The Zumwalt is the largest destroyer ever built for the U.S. Navy. The USS Zumwalt is the lead ship among three Zumwalt-class destroyers. It is the largest destroyer in the world. The USS Zumwalt was named after Admiral Elmo Zumwalt, the youngest chief of naval operations in U.S. history. The ship is a guided missile destroyer, which means that its main purpose is to provide anti-aircraft support to the U.S. Navy's fleet. The ship's construction began in October 2008. It was launched in October 2013 and put into commission by the U.S. Navy in October 2016. The Navy currently has two other Zumwalt-class destroyers, the USS Michael Monser and the USS Lyndon B. Johnson. Aside from the USS Zumwalt, USS Sumwalt DDG-1000, is a guided missile destroyer of the United States Navy. She is the lead ship of the Zumwalt class and the first ship to be named after Admiral Elmo Zumwalt. Zumwalt has stealth capabilities, having a radar cross-section similar to a fishing boat despite her large size. On December 7, 2015, Zumwalt began her sea trial preparatory to joining the Pacific Fleet. The ship was commissioned in Baltimore on October 15, 2016. Her home port is San Diego. The Zumwalt class was designed with multi-mission capability. Unlike previous destroyer classes, designed primarily for deep water combat, the Zumwalt class was primarily designed to support ground forces in land attacks, in addition to the usual destroyer missions of anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine warfare. Zumwalt is equipped with two advanced gun systems, Aegeus, which are designed to fire the long-range land attack projectile, LRLAP. Warlap was to be one of a range of land attack and ballistic projectiles for the AGS, but was the only munition the AGS could use. Warlap had a range of up to 100 nautical miles, 190 kilometers, 120 miles, fired from the AGS. It was to be a key component for ground forces support, but LRLAP procurement was cancelled in 2016 and the Navy has no plan to replace it. Since Sumwalt class cannot provide naval gunfire support the Navy has repurposed the class to surface warfare. In January 2014, Sumwalt began to prepare for heavy weather trials to see how the ship and her instrumentation react to high winds, stormy seas, and adverse weather conditions. The ship's new wave-piercing inverted bow and tumble-home hull configuration reduced her radar cross-section. Tests involved lateral and vertical accelerations and pitch and roll. Later tests included fuel unloading, data center tests, propulsion events, X-band radar evaluations, and mission systems activation to finalize integration of electronics. These all culminated in builders trials and acceptance trials, with delivery for U.S. Navy tests in late 2014 and with initial operating capability IOC, to be reached by 2016. On November 21, 2016, Sumwalt lost propulsion in her port shaft while passing through the Panama Canal from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean en route to her home port in San Diego. Water had intruded in two of the four bearings that connect Zumwalt's port and starboard advanced induction motors to its drive shafts. Both drive shafts failed and Zumwalt struck the lock walls in the canal, causing minor cosmetic damage. Zumwalt's passage through the Panama Canal had to be completed with tugboats. Zumwalt underwent repairs at Vasco Nunez de Balboa Naval Base near the Pacific end of the canal before continuing on to Naval Station San Diego. Upon the ship's arrival in San Diego, the leak was revealed to be through the lubrication cooling system, though the cause remains unknown. Sources close to the incident described the completion of the canal transit with tugboats a prudent measure, and lauded Captain Kirk for quick thinking and integrity to acknowledge the cooling system failure rather than risk damage to the propulsion system by steering the ship to the dock without assistance.